everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to our Doll Manica channel. Today we're going to do a box opening of this big box that arrived from Social Circle Georgia. These are masterpiece dolls that we bought from Dolls and Stuff when we went and visit the store. And it's a good thing to have one of these because I haven't bought any masterpiece dolls in like three years already. So it's good to have new masterpiece dolls coming to our home. Alright, so this is really exciting. I really thought I will not buy any masterpiece dolls anymore, but when we went there, I was like, yeah, maybe, might as well, since we don't know if how long before we will go back to that store. Because the last time we went there, it was three years ago. And then after three years, we were able to go back there. Which is really much fun. That was like the highlight of my East Coast travel. And here we go. Alright, so I can see a masterpiece doll box here. And I also bought clothes from that store. These are the stands. I'm glad that they come with the uh, well, they came with doll stands because sometimes I do although I don't really put doll stands on masterpiece dolls very often, but sometimes I do. I this is kinda of hard. Oh boy. Alright, I guess I have to pause this video because they are so compact in there. And it's kinda of hard to pull them out. I don't want to break them. Alright, so here they are now out from the box and they have their doll stands and I like it that they have the COA. COA at this time is very, very important to me because there's a lot of counterfeits or copies of Masterpiece dolls and I want to have the COA to make sure, of course I'm sure that the one that I'm getting from Miss Face um, or Dolls and Stuff store are all authentic, but it's still, I still like this one. I like, I like the feeling that I am supporting legal um, businesses and not just those who are copying other people's stuff. There you go. Although I do buy some dolls from from cheap cheap dolls, I do buy those ones for as long as they are authentic and they are not copies of some artist's um, work of art. So there they are. Let's go ahead and remove those pads and bubble wraps. Oh boy. The little one is called, uh, what's her name? Her name is Pocket Full of Sweetness, and she is number 16 of 350 US edition. There you go. I'm ready to go through your face. So here she is, and she is, is still wrapped. She still has the original wrapping. Up to there. I can hear something. I don't know what that is. I hope there's nothing broken, but whatever that is, we will know. All right, so let's remove her net. And I'm going to lower down that thing. That way we can, we can see the face real good. Okay, so I'm curious who is the artist on this one. Let's see, is it Monica Livnig or Peter Light? 
All right, it's not Livnig. It's Monica Pitterlight. And there's the artist face in there. And this is her certificate of authenticity. All right. She has, um, Let's remove this one to see if she's joined it or not. She has full vinyl body, so she does not have any cloth part. She has like kind of like a soft vinyl. Now it's time for you to be removed from that. And she has brown eyes and reddish. There, there. there you go. Olive hair. She's wearing pink dress and pink footwear. There she is. All right, so we'll see. put the camera on you so you will have a better all right so here she is look at those brown eyes she is smiling and she has teeth that's cute she does not have any damage in the eyes so that's really nice I like that and she has very silky hair. It's very soft. I just removed the uh, wrapping on the hands to see if she's jointed. So she's not jointed on the elbow. And she has softer vinyl. Her body is also vinyl, but it's hard vinyl. And her legs are hard vinyl. And there's the joints there. So there's ball joints on the legs, or knees, I mean. That's really cool. All right, and she has this cute pink sandals and cute pink socks. Look at the navel. There she is. I'm not sure how tall she is. She might be, looks like she is 29 inches tall. And that is the first doll from the box. And now we're going to move on to the next one. The next one I believe is Jeannie. Let's check it out. What's her name? She's number 45 of 100 edition. And her name is Jenny. And I believe this is the um, um, exclusive to dolls and stuff. And evidently she is taller. Now I'm curious if this is also by Monica. Okay, this one is by Monica Livnig. So both the artists are named Monica. Except they have different last names. And these two are really good. They have really nice masterpiece dolls that they um, created for, uh, I mean dolls that, that they created for Masterpiece Gallery. Unfortunately, Masterpiece um, dolls were, um, they stopped production of Masterpiece dolls a few years ago, so you can only get them from the secondary market. So let's go ahead and remove the bubble wraps on Ginny.
All right, so Jeannie is also wrapped here. She also has still the original wrapping. So let's go ahead and remove these ones. There she is. So she's still in really good condition. But she's kind of like brand new. And she still has the this one as well. Her hands are also wrapped. Now here comes me removing all the wrapping there. This doll kind of reminds me of the doll that I used to have. What was her name? Her name was Andre Leandra, I think. Leandra. There she is. And we're gonna remove. Okay, so this one she has jointed elbow. So she's got joints here and she is not soft vinyl on the hand. She's hard vinyl. And let's remove this one. There she is. So I'm gonna remove this one too. Like she's around 40 inches. Maybe she's 40 inches. I'm not 100% certain, but it looks like it. Let's remove this one. So she also is jointed on the other hand. Come on, let's remove all of these. It's time for you to go free. Jeannie, can I make a wish? <laughs> Maybe I can make a wish. Will you grant my wish? <laughs> Let's remove this one. Look at that hair. So I'm going to remove this one. The knees are also jointed. Are they? Right, I'm going to be removing this one here. It's kind of hard to do a box opening on these ones. They're just way too big. <laughs> but it's very interesting too. I mean, it's, it's exciting too. It looks like she... Wow, I'm amazed. Yeah, so she has joints on her elbows, but not on the knees. They're like the opposite. The other, the little one, she has, she does not have any joints on the uh, elbow, but she she is jointed on the knees. The other, this one is the, the, the opposite. So she has these um, crystals. And I think I saw the others. This one is missing one, but I think I saw where it is. Where was that? I saw it somewhere. It's here. It's in the certificate of authenticity. So this one I can put it here. It's sticky. But yeah, so that's Ginny. There they are. I think they're both very cute. Welcome home. <laughs> Jeannie's hair is very long and it's curly in there. Yeah. So yep, those are the two masterpiece dolls that just arrived today. And they are going to join their brother Enzo and sister Ginny. So I already have Jeannie, which is G-I-N-N-Y, and now we have Ginny. I, can I can I rub you and say I can make a wish? <laughs> there you go. Yep, so these are the two ones, and along with these ones are some of the outfits. If you are looking for outfits for 18-inch dolls, dolls and stuff also have a lot of really nice ones. So I bought these ones. 
and I'm hoping that these ones will fit the BJD 18 inch dolls that I have but yes I bought these ones from the same store and they are really very cute I've seen American Girl dolls wearing them and look at this yep so there they are thank you everyone for tuning in and you all have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye